So we have the project uh, and of course you want to do real time graphics. In the last video I showed you how you can do um, the rendered version. So if you can pre-prepare everything that would be great. But of course you don't al always know the matchups and if you have let's say 16 teams within a uh, tournament you have a lot of different matchups that can happen especially if you want to make sure that left and right are correct uh, so what you can do is play out the graphics in real time just out of the engine so within my computer i have a Teclink 4k pro that one uh, i just output an input so i can watch uh, what i can do but of course officially you would just uh, send it to your mixer so what we're gonna do uh, we it's pretty simple I'm gonna close this and we're just gonna play the actual project so now it's playing within the in the engine and then if we want to play something out we press the BP underscore hype chamber underscore controller and here you can if you go down you can select the media output for me it's uh, black magic so if we can uh, uh, open it. I have a 4K, but the preset is made for an 8K. Luckily, with Black Magic, it doesn't really matter uh, most of the times, uh, especially if you don't do fill and key. Uh, and I'm just using device one of the 4K. Uh, the rest you can even change the pixel format, timecode format. Timecode is not really used in this one, uh, and you can also log uh, if there's any top frames on the actual SDI. So. If we want to enable it, we just press enable STI. It will say STI on. And if I get OBS with the Blackmagic device, you can see that it's actually outputting um, what is happening in your view. So now, let's just do it this way. Now, if we want to play out the graphic, we can do that from the height chamber control. So we select the teams that we want and we can just play the graphic it's a little bit delay on my obs because i'm running obs twice and unreal at the same time on in the same computer you wouldn't do that in a broadcast but yeah this is how you would play it out on an sti real time with also the uh, so that you can do real time graphics with with this project so for real time actually playing out this, these graphics, you want to do that remote. So for instance, with the Stream Deck, ROS dashboard, uh, any other software that you would use within your broadcast environment, as long as it can do HTTP request. So they made this conductor. Um, so whenever the project is running, you can reach this uh, through the IP and then port 7000 to actually control the, 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 the project. So when uh, play is hit and you just, uh, for instance, pump team victory and you select the team, uh, you can play it out from this dashboard. So if we do play graphic, you see that it plays out. And if we reset graphics, then it is at the beginning of the start. So what can we do with this? So how this works with the remote control API? is that within the control panel, you have different uh, exposed variables and functions. And in this tutorial, I'm only gonna go over the player graphic uh, function, but if you call it, we'll play out the graphic and the reset one that will reset the graphic. The beauty about this, you can just also trigger it with a uh, stream deck. So let's do that. So what we're gonna do, we open a uh, companion and we're gonna add an instance. And for the instance, we're gonna add HTTP and then the generic request add. And the label is Unreal in this case, and the base URL is the um, IP you're gonna send to. In this case, we're, we're just gonna send it to our local host or 127.0.0.1. And it's ex uh, and the HTTP request works on port three zero zero one zero. We're gonna apply these changes. So let's make the button first. Let's make some room. Uh, we still have the actual graphic playing. We're gonna 
do a regular button. We're gonna do Unreal because that's how we named our instance. We're gonna set put, and then we need to do the the URL. So that's gonna be remote slash preset slash, and we're gonna look up the preset. It's gonna be RC Esports R C Esports slash function slash and because we need to call the function let's look at this we want to call the fun function play graphic bp control uh, bp underscore esports controller so we're just gonna copy paste that text and we're gonna call the play and to actually trigger it we need to send a uh, body JSON with it. I'll just copy paste it and leave it in the description. Uh, this will work for should work for any function calling uh, for all the other different variables that you can change. I highly recommend look up the documentation on the Epic Unreal page. So now if we do play on the stream deck, it will play it out. So for instance, how you can use this within your broadcast. Uh, is that I already already set the matchup with different teams and whenever I need to play it out I can tie that to a switch uh, whatever and if I press play it will play it out my computer is not really liking too many things at the same time but let's also make the, the uh, reset button just gonna stop it for a second Let's also make the reset button. So we're gonna make a new button. We're gonna do Unreal Put. And the URL, we can actually just copy paste from this. The only thing we're gonna change is the play graphic, uh, the end, so, so the name of the function. So that will be reset graphic pp underscore esports controller. And because it's just firing off a function, we can copy the body JSON from here. And we're gonna call this reset. So we press play. And there we and let's do just a simple bump victory. Uh, MFT. So now when I press the play button, it will play out the graphic and reset will reset. And that's uh how you can get started for real-time uh, productions with the hype chamber.